Ne shtetëm gjive në Gabo, një në go? Ni, ki së në stësh në kazë, së kënë përgjën donë që bëhëm, shi kënë do dem. A ki një stu në kësë në kasë në e të spi në më ka? A një në që ka në të në e më gënëk, të afë një kënë të shë në kasë, ku ashtë së shko në gënë në të në që. My name is Ash, and uh, I'm from Kelsey's First Nation. I've always been passionate about like sustainability and creating like a positive change within my community. First thing is, of course, I want there to be like local food production. It's women-led, indigenous-led. Um, so I do want to see that it's you know indigenous women being able to connect to the land, but also to be able to create economic opportunities for ourselves. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's try. Greenhouses need energy? Well, what about solar panels? Oh, it needs heating? Well, what about geothermal? You know, like, let's do everything to not hook it up to the grid. Part of revitalizing that knowledge and, you know, this knowledge of food um, is also re revitalizing those relationships, um, you know, and the, the knowledge that comes with it. There's a lot of knowledge that wasn't passed on because people were not no longer trapping and eating from, you know, the land. Our territory was really heavily impacted by extractive industries, um, specifically um, clear-cut foresting, uranium mining, processing, sulfuric acid, all of these things that happened in our territory um, that displaced um, my community. For a long time, there were no people actively using it, and so a lot of that history and knowledge was being lost. So we decided to move out there so that in the future there will be Anishinaabe people living out in the land in our territory who are still practicing these traditions and doing um, living life as Anishinaabe people. So this project um, for the Imagination Project is called Healing Our Home and I'm designing a sustainable house design that reflects our values as we are Moose Cree people. I had the idea of um, partnering up with a school back home called the Outreach School um, in Tixiga um, to build a greenhouse. The Bienberry Cafe is a solar powered food trailer that's going to provide locally and or organic and or indigenous products or produce to the Saskatchewan Power Trail. With our project we were hoping to install um, solar panels to be able to power things that we require and for like just basic necessities at the camp. You know, coast to coast, we're all from different nations, we speak different languages, we're from different tribes, um, but you know, we're, we're here for, for the same purpose, and that's to provide a better future for our, the future generations. wanted to see young Indigenous people take up these spaces and continue to develop projects for our nations and, and better our nations. There will be naysayers and there will be people who will doubt you and who will say like, how are you going to get the money for that? Who will, who, who's going to approve that? Like, don't hold back, just um, be excited about your idea, be excited to share it with other people. At the end of the day, like what is important to remember is that you have to be uncomfortable in order to be comfortable. That's my idea of a leader. Like a boss, a boss would be somebody who just tells you what to do and expects you to do it. But a real leader is somebody who shows you how to do it by doing it with you. You know, we'll all lead each other by example, with each other, holding hands, you know? Ducks in a line, I don't know. 
have this idea and I know it's a good idea. I had this idea in 2016 and I've been carrying it with me and like talking to people and working on growing the idea. Um, but what I needed was the powerhouse of, of ICE and that support of 7Gen and that kind of community. So I feel like just kind of coming into this community, it's like the journey's not done. It's only really just begun, but it's like knowing that that is the piece that I was missing and what I needed. Joining the Imagination Group, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to meet all these, all these people and like so in tune with their culture and so passionate about the earth and like how everything is just holistic and it's all around and around and it's, I don't know, it's just, it's beautiful and I'm very thankful to be a part of this.